Vikings are thin at wide receiver now due to injuries to Jalen Naylor and Tristan Jackson. Harry will join a wideout crew, though, that is considered one of the best in the NFL, if not the best. And the man in charge had quite an NFL career himself. Keenan McCardo was one of the few holdovers from the Zimmer staff. Kind of tells you how important he is to this organization. And now he's pushing his guys to become the best. Our Ahmad Hicks spent some time with the Vikings wide receiver coach and found out he still competes. Right now, I'm standing alongside Vikings wide receiver coach Keenan McCardell. He went from being the superstar playmaker to now coaching the superstars. Coach, we're going to play catch a little bit, and I want to pick your brain about how you go from the playmaker to coaching these playmakers. So what's the biggest transition for you? The biggest transition for me was just being able to understand that, you know, I'm on a different time schedule than what I was as a player. You know, mm -hmm. the, the time, the day is longer than, than usual as right. a as a player now as a coach mm -hmm. and you know what the thing that I I pride myself in as a player I pride myself in as a coach and that's staying and working hard and being there late when I need to be there late uh, doing the extra you know right. and, uh, making sure I'm studying guys making sure I can give my guys edges that they need each mm -hmm. and every week now you said something during the offseason about you only show your guys film one time a year. And if you show it more than one time a year, you find them. Why don't you whip that out and show them the explosive playmaker you were back in the day? No, they they don't think old coach can play. <laughs> so they find me for every time I every time I show a clip of mine. So uh -huh. I will pay the fine uh -huh. if I need to get my point across. Right. <laughs> so right now I got a group of guys that love to, uh, you know, love to play football, love mm -hmm. to watch. And they I know because somebody told me that they'd right. be watching me away from the building. <laughs> so I understand. So, Kenny, you play 16 years. That's no easy feat for an NFL player. What's the secret to success? You still look 35 right now. I mean, <laughs> you take it one day at a time, and you got to realize this. Every time you walk out on the grass yep. when, you're, when you're playing, mm -hmm. you're being evaluated. So right. if you want to be evaluated the right way, you come out and give it your all. Mm -hmm. And you know what? When you start to show up and play consistently day in and day out, it's hard for coaches to be able to, to say, we need to walk you out the door. Right. You know, the consistent, I always tell guys, consistency kills in this league, mm -hmm. you know. Those guys that are up and down like this here, they can give you a, uh, give you a burst of, right. of greatness and then come back and be the worst. You know, it, that don't that don't last in this league. Uh -huh. You're consistently getting better every year. It's hard for coaches to cut, to cut so, guys like that. I'm putting you on the spot. Your favorite catch then from your, throughout your NFL career? Ooh, ugh. I know. I, oh, told I got you. one. My okay. favorite catch. That's kind of easy. I was in Carolina. We was playing Carolina. It was uh, third and like 25 or third and long. And uh, Brad, I ran a, I ran a um, out and up down mm -hmm. the sideline. It was uh, it was three guys down, and I one hand caught it. On third down and 20, Johnson toward the end zone. The pass is caught. Oh, An incredible catch by McCardell. Mike Minner was a safety for Carolina at the time. I was coming down the sideline. Brad just threw it up there, so I just jumped around. One hand caught it for a touchdown, and I was like, that was probably one of my favorite catches right there. So rank that catch versus Justin Jefferson's catch in the Buffalo game last year. Who had the better catch? I'll let you, I'll let you make that decision when you, when you go pull it up. I'm going to go pull it up, and, and then, then I'll then, circle then back, then and I'll bring it back me. up to you. But his catch was, was unbelievable. And, you know, I, I would give it to him because of the moment, mm -hmm. but my moment was the same way, but you know, we <laughs> needed that one, so I'm gonna say JJ. For you, what's so special about getting to coach a guy like Justin Jefferson, who's immensely talented? For me, it's, it's great to just be able to give him the knowledge that I've that was given to me mm -hmm. by my, my receiver coach, Richard Mann, uh, and, uh, and give it back to him, and then be able to put a little spin on it the way he likes to do it because every receiver is different. Every mm -hmm. receiver can't do the same thing. You just got to kind of know your guys, know your body types of right. guys and what they can do and what they can't do. Mm -hmm. And he's a guy that can do almost anything. So it's great because he's so talented, he can get away with certain little things. Mm -hmm. And I, because he's so talented, but I stay on him about the little things because it's going to make him an even better runner. I mean, even better route runner and and be able to separate even more. Mm -hmm. So those things about me is just giving him 
the little tools that he need because he got all the big tools. He know how to do all the, right. the, the, the great <laughs> things you know, that everybody see. It's just the little things that I try to make sure I stay on him about. Now, if Justin was right here, I would ask this question, so I'm going to ask you still. Who's the better receiver right now in his career versus you and your prime? I got to say, you know what, I would say him, okay. you know, you know, because I, I, I told him, I said, at one point in a three-year span, I was like the third most, I had the third most receptions in the league behind uh, Chris Carter and my and my other teammate, mm -hmm. Jimmy Smith, and I was Good number company. three, so, <laughs> uh, but he's done that in three years from a rookie yep. to now, and it's unbelievable. He's on a pace that, that could just blow the record books out of the waters you know and i think uh you know he loves to play play the game he's gonna play it for a long time knock on wood mm -hmm. i mean and i think he wants to do that right he's gonna take it one year at a time and that's what we talk about taking it one year at a time continually to get better each and every year and i think that's that's his mindset and you know he's he was the best player in, <laughs> at his position last year. And think about this. He can be the best player in this league if he just keep putting his mind to it. It's, it's a goal. Mm -hmm. But the biggest goal, like he always say, is winning a Super Bowl. He does say that. Now let's talk about the other receivers you have in your room. K.J. Osborne, super talented as well. But you draft the guy, Jordan Addison. And we saw that draft day reaction. We were like, yes, we got another one. How does that make your job easier as a coach or difficult? <laughs> when you got three guys that can really play, you know, we got a room of guys that can really play. So it's always good to have talent in your room. Mm -hmm. And Jordan came in adding talent with KJ, JJ, Jalen Rigger, Jalen Naylor, mm -hmm. all those guys. That, those are guys that, that, that understand the talent that Jordan's bringing in to help us right. as a as a group. You know, we always think about it as a group. Mm -hmm. It's not about one particular person. It's about us as a group. Right. Because we, like I always tell tell them, we work for each other. Mm -hmm. And I always say, every man in here touches everybody's money. <laughs> I mean, you got to run around right. for me, and I got to run around for you. Right. So we touching each other's money. So right. that kind of rings their bell. But I always say. I'm working for you, and he's working for me each and every each and every play, and they understand that. Bringing Jordan in, a talent as he is, he's stepped in and and took that role and that mindset. Mm -hmm. He's out here busting his butt, doing the things that he's supposed to do, and you know we we just take it one day at a time. Do you think you have the best wide receiver room in the NFL? I'll wait till the end of the year to say that. Stats do a lot of the talking. Yes. What's it going to take for this group to help this team become Super Bowl champions by the end of 2023 and the beginning of 2024? We got to be consistent week in and week out and make our plays when they're, when they're asked and then make the spectacular plays when we, when, when we need it. Mm -hmm. Like we did last year on some, thing, some games, you know, when we were down, we had to lock in and, and come back and make mm -hmm. every play. I want us to start off making every play. Don't. Don't think, oh, we'll, we'll come on at the end. No, I want to start it from day one. So we got to make our plays from beginning to end and then continue to be consistent for this team. All right, and I know you're a couple of years removed from the game. You think you can still lace up the cleats and get 1,000 yards in this NFL today? <laughs> I would say yes. You really want to know the truth about it? I do. It? I would say yes because they can't touch me. They can't touch you. That's what I'm saying. So, Tell them to throw on the tape. Throw on the tape. I mean, I, I had guys that could touch you and, and throw you into the Gatorade cooler right. over there. Right. But now, a lot of guys, they can't touch me, so I'm good. So right. I'll be fine. I would be fine in, the, in, these, in these new rules. Well, you hear first from wide receivers coach with the Vikings, Keenan McCardell, about his special group and the things they have in store for this upcoming season. Coach, we appreciate the time today. Thank you. No doubt. All right. And you can see the Vikings firsthand this Thursday with Vikings Game Day Live and then the game itself at 9. Straight ahead.